Just got done doing a little sanding and I'm getting ready to uh, mark these for my uh, crescent cut, I'll call it, or half moon cut, whatever. Um, but you got to be careful when you're sanding these that you don't get too carried away. And I probably should have done this the first time, which was, <clears throat> which would have been to sand these first and then make my uh, my dados in these. Uh, but as it is, they're they're nice and tight, and I I don't have to sand them that much anyway. And you can see they're still going together pretty snug. But the thing about it is, is that um, I'm going to be relieving a lot of this material here, so there'll be a lot less uh, friction when I put them back together this, after I do that. So. Uh, let me let me get things ready here and show you how I'm going to lay this out. Now the way I'm marking these is is from the bottom of the taper. I come in three quarters of an inch and make a mark on both edge or both uh, both ends, and then draw my arc connecting those two points. And I use a very uh, sophisticated tool to do that. Let me show you what it is here. It's a 4.12 quart ice cream pail cover. <laughs> it just happens to be uh, 8 inch diameter, 4 inch radius, which is what I need. So I'm just merely placing it on that, on the piece, making sure I get both marks here. Right there. And there you have it. So, I'll, and here's a little quick tip if you get a, a dado uh, match that the depth is not quite right, you can flip it over and just uh, use. The one piece has a backer board. You can see I've got it put in uh, basically upside down. And I, but I'm going to re be removing my mark, so I have to remember which may, way my T goes here. And that what that T does for me is tells me that this T is up this way, so this would flip over and and they go together so that the T's match. So I've got to remember to. Uh, Rescribe that when I get done here. So all I'm going to do is just take a sharp chisel and pair this off here. I'm going to come at it from both directions. Okay, that feels much better. I'm going to get my pencil. Because I flipped it, I, I know my T gets marked this way. And I'll try the fit again. And I got a nice flush fit there. So I'm ready to go to the band. <laughs>
Okay, I've got these uh, rough sanded with the drum sander, but there's enough of them to do that I'm going to make a, a custom shaped sander here because you want to keep these, these hard edges. I tried to use a foam block, uh, but it, it, it rounds over the edges too much, so I, I want to stay crisp here at least until I get them ready to put together. So all I did was, I'm just going to take this piece of scrap plywood. Uh, I, set my, I set my compass to a uh, four inch radius, laid it on here, and then just drew my arc. So I'm going to bandsaw this out. I'll use some uh, self adhesive paper, you know, uh, sandpaper that'll stick to that. And then and just uh, use it use it that way, or maybe I'll put it stationary and rub the blocks over it. I'm not sure which way yet, but we'll find out here in a minute. Well, it didn't take long, and then this is what I came up with. So here's my radius. Uh, yeah, my 8 inch radius. Put a piece of sandpaper over it, cut a couple slots with the bandsaw back here, and then uh, just use those. Remember these? <laughs> these are the wedges from the uh, uprights. A couple of those in each end keep the paper from sliding back and forth, and it works great. So this is 120. I'll just work my way up to uh, probably just 180 I think. Maybe even 150 might be enough on this bottom side, but you can see that it's working really well. That's the, that's the cutout side and this is the long side. One last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to screw this through the bottom of this piece here so I can clamp it to my workbench and then I won't have to hold this. It'll be much easier to work the, the pieces back and forth. So a couple screws through here, clamp it to the bench, then I'll be able to change the paper out pretty, pretty easily too. much easier and much better results. And that's just 120. I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> Nobody's going to see it, you know, this is, but whatever. I'm, I'm going to take my time and do it anyway. And as long as I can do it this quickly, why, there's no reason not to. Quick update for you. I found that two edges work better to hold the paper on both sides so that it, it doesn't tend to move on you. But uh, again, terrific results in a short amount of time. I've already got four sets done here uh, to 120. So moving right along. It's only been about uh, probably 10 minutes.